Hi everyone. Today I am here to demonstrate how you can enroll a Android smartphone in Microsoft Intune or in Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center for the mobile device management services. Now guys, uh, to enroll a Android device in Microsoft Intune you have two choices either you can go with the Microsoft uh, Android device administrator services or you can go with the Android enterprise of course the Android device administrator is now a legacy option so most probably do not use it or it is not used as much now so it's better that you go with the Android enterprise which will also be better for your enterprise because it gives you a lot many other options to secure the devices and to install the applications or to apply any kind of restrictions. The only thing, uh, not the only thing of course, but one extra thing which you will have to do in Android enterprise is that you will have to connect a Google Play account or your Gmail account with the uh, Android enrollment in Microsoft Intune. As you can observe on the screen that we do not have option to click on any one of these options here. It's because until and unless I associate my Microsoft Intune account with a Google Play or a Gmail account, I will not be able to use the Android enterprise services. So guys, let's go ahead and let's click on manage Google Play. Now I am already logged in to my Google account here. So first let me click on I agree here and then we should be able to launch Google and utilize the service. Let's click on I agree and then let's click on launch Google. Now guys, since I'm already logged in, so it will use my same account. Make sure that you have either an enterprise Google account or a personal one. Let's click on get started. And I am going to give a name to my business as my name itself. Let's click on next here. And let's mention the name. I'm going to use my Gmail ID here and the phone number and let's click on I agree and let's click on confirm. Once we are able to go beyond this page, we will be able to complete the registration and here you will be able to observe that uh, your Google Play account is set up. Now when I click on close here, you should be able to observe that now I have the options of enrolling my Android device. Guys, you have four options here. The very first option here is for a personal device of your employee, a personal smartphone. The second option is most probably for a kiosk kind of a device maybe a tablet or a shared device. The third option here is for a corporate device which is owned by the organization where you as an organization or an enterprise can control the device as you like. Even the installation of any kind of applications, any personal applications, which of course is not available on the the personally owned device. Since that was a personal device, you cannot restrict the user to, uh, to install any personal uh, application. And then the last option here, which is in preview, is also for a corporate device, but will still loosen up some restrictions as compared to the third option. Now guys, I am going to move my screen after this to my Android mobile phone so that I can show you the steps of how to 
uh, enroll the device. As of now, on my machine, I do not have any kind of uh, Android device. Right? As you can observe, I just have my previous Windows 10 or the iPad devices. So, let me move to my Android machine now. So guys, here is the mobile and as you can observe that from the Play Store, you can install the company portal app. Guys, this is the same app which we also installed on an iPad or also on any other Apple device or even a iPhone or tablet or Windows or Android. Guys, after I install the Intune company portal app on this device, we will log in using the Microsoft 365 ad, uh, credentials. Again, any user who has been given the uh, license to use the Microsoft Intune service will be able to enroll his device into Microsoft Intune. So make sure the license is given. And as you can observe on the screen that I have opened the app now and I will, I'm going to sign in into the app. Provide the username and the password Let's log in and after we log in, we should be able to see some uh, information like uh, what kind of data will the company portal or Microsoft Intune will access from my machine as you can observe it on the screen right now. Let's click on continue here and let's set up the work profile. The setting up of work profile may take like up to a minute let's accept and continue let's click on next and you will observe that the work profile uh, will have been created and we will just have to uh, activate it now it's logging in Let's activate it. Click on continue. And now it is going to register my device. That's it guys. The registration is done. And so I logged in using Ben's account, right? We should be able to see here the name of the user. Let's click on done first and then click on got it here. And, and guys, there it is. Right? The device has been registered. You can also see the other options here, right? You can click on the device or you can go to the settings of the uh, portal this company portal app also sync the policies or send any usage data information to Microsoft Intune now guys after this also observe how that work category has been created and there are work based applications added see as you can observe there are two two apps of each type like the 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 google play app for the the personal one this was the personal one and the earlier one was the the for the work purpose like uh, this one here observe in this work purpose google app sorry the the google play app it will not have any kind of applications 
only those applications which will be visible here which your company will allow you to install i think this is really a great feature this google play store app will ensure you or your organization that only those apps can be installed which your company will allow you apart from that no other app from the work perspective can be installed now guys since the uh, device is registered so let me go back to my microsoft intune portal and let's go to all devices and under all devices let's try to observe that i can see my android device here and of course just like other ipad or windows devices we should be able to see all the information about the device right like the hardware information or the properties let's see if any there are lots and lots of apps as well seems like all the apps which are there on my mobile phone that's it guys that's how you are going to enroll a android device into the intune portal manually thank you